Sachter. Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking time to be here this morning. Um, I think this is going to be the last one. Um, yeah, um, I have a surprise for you. At the end of the day, I'm look, I'm going to start interviewing other successful people in the next week. So while we're waiting for a few people to still join, um, I believe the email just went out and we still have at least a minute to go before we start. Um, if those are on, um, yeah, so from next week and the week after, I'm going to interview people um, that are successful in their field and that have applied these strategies. Uh, one is a lady that uh, does um, fitness, health and fitness, and she's using her online not only for that, but also for her business that they sell generators. Then there will be another guy from the UK that's also in the fitness and health industry. And then I have a few other clients that I'm going to introduce to you all. One is in the compliance industry of HR, occupational health and safety, and, and how you can bring this in your business and how marketing has helped them, um, you know, especially newsletters. You know, they have a database of a few million that they send out to. Um, also, I will introduce you um, to a company that is also... Um, promotes um, leads generation. They introduce you to the. They can introduce you to eighty thousand companies um, in South Africa um, that does three million and more in turnover. So there is really nice tools out there that I can introduce you to, and I'm going to interview all of them in the next week. So one thing that is important is that you all have to be tuned in the moment. Um, uh, those uh, emails go out, you will have time to register and be part of those webinars. Um, some of them will be recordings that will go on YouTube and we will send out a YouTube link as well. And uh, I think that is important, um, is uh, in this period of time, we need to look at what successful people are doing. Um, but yeah, so let's start at 7.35. Um, for those who are coming in late, that's fine. Um, we need to keep to schedule. Um, just a reminder um, to go visit my sore.com um, I think that is important is that please follow me and like me. And the next thing is um, just a reminder to book for Saturday, uh, soar.buy.realsummit. Um, let me put that in the the, 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 sh the bar on the chat. Soar by forward slash real summit. I think that is important. Um, please come and support me. I'm speaking on 150 on Saturday. And uh, the more people can support me, the better it would be. I would love to see you all on online um, in the morning. Um, yeah, so that is me um, speaking with uh, uh, other people that are successful in their field. Some of them I will be interviewing in my series as well to share the knowledge of what uh, is happening in the industry and um, that you all can learn from them. You know, one thing that I've learned is that uh, it's time for us to step up and to crash it in 2020. And how are we going to crash it in 2020? Um, you know, I think that's the biggest challenge for businesses is we're so stuck in the old way of doing things that we forget to start thinking out of the box and look at what people are doing. It's time to become the business warrior in business. Now, why I'm saying this is, we need to see history likes to repeat itself. Now, what has happened in the history is that um, uh, 1920 and even 1820, there was also similar outbreaks. And just not long after that, the, the markets crashed and there was a worldwide depression. Now, the thing about that is what, uh, for me, the biggest is in everything that is happening, there's positive learnings. One thing that we need to go and do is we need to go look at the positive learnings during those, that period of time and what did the companies do and people do to get out of depression. You know, there are certain people, Graham Ford, uh, this, and then there was the steel magnate. And I think there was a f over 500 in that period of time that uh, the guy from Fink and Grow Reads, Napoleon Hill, went to interview. Uh, that's when that came out of depression that was successful companies and successful CEOs. And uh, I think similar is what learnings can we take from there? You know, I'm keeping repeating myself, but it's important because if we can go and learn from them, we can apply it in our businesses and we will get through this period. Um, it is challenging. And for me, it comes down to basics again, um, looking at your business, looking at the market, 
looking at your foundation and uh, just applying and working on your foundation in the end of the day. Um, by doing that, the next is then what seeds are we going to plant in the next three months? Because that will determine on the harvest that we can reap in the next few months. And then it's to have that consistency, is to look after your seeds and uh, consistently apply them and consistently implementing them. But like I said in the first webinar, is also that you... Um, keep analyzing it and measure it analytics every three months and uh, 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 change course if necessary or just adjust your course you know it's like a ship you know you can't just leave it on autopilot you constantly have to make sure that it's and it's the same with a plane you constantly readjust it small changes to make sure that you're on the right path you can't just leave it and think it's just uh, everything is magical gonna happen you have to constantly look at it and before you know it you're gonna reap your harvest and your harvest is what you want in the end of the day. Um, so what is the harvest that you want to reap in the next three to 12? That's the most important. Uh, but the most important is consistency is key. Now, I believe, and the feedback that I got from most of you is that you found uh, the information overwhelming. The information I know that in the first four webinars is overwhelming, but that was my aim, was to give you all of this information so that you can realize the opportunities out there and opportunities that you've missed out on and opportunities that you probably um, could have implemented, but you haven't. And and I think that is the most important thing. My passion in is this, and hopefully my passion does come over to you to say, you know, for me, it's all about giving because, you know, I know you can be successful. There is no excuse for not being successful. Um, um, I, I could have had all the excuses in the world to not go climb a mountain because I was on crutches. That is only an excuse. Um, you can have all the excuses, but I can't work technology. Um, um, uh, I was born before the internet. Um, I don't have the skills to do this. Uh, let me just tell you, you have the skills. All that you have to do is to go learn it. I also didn't have the skills, but I had to learn it. Yes, yeah, some of us learn faster than the rest. And therefore, that is why a coach is important. One of my clients last night in the UK said, um, Kovis, you know, if this wasn't for you, I, I, I don't even know where to start. I don't know how to put my computer on. But this is forcing me to go out of my comfort zone and to learn. But the thing is, I'm learning now and I will reap the rewards in the next few months. But at least I've started. And that's my thing to you. At least start and learn and take it one step at a time. You know, things are going to change drastically. You know, we actually forced in the world to, to, to grow. You know, you can just see the growth of computers over the last hundred years. And, you know, they say computers will be uh, smarter than humans by 2050, 2045. We will be connected to the grid. Um, there's an article out there by Elon Musk uh, that talks about um, that he wants to map the whole brain um, with AI and computer in the next few years. So that is already in the works. If you go to the Singularity University, you will start seeing what is happening. Google X is busy working on that. The other thing about this is uh, technology doubles every, uh, every 12 months, if I'm great, or every six months. And before we know it, you know, um, computers are going to run our world. The robots are going to run our world. And we need to adapt to that. So are you ready for doing, uh, for the next 10 years of your business, for the next five years? Maybe not even for the next five years. Are you? Can you survive the next three months or two, six months? And that is the most important. How can we double your effort and time to grow in the next six months? Now, most important uh, question is you've learned now all of this. And if you had to start it from zero to that, you know, I call it the power of zero. It's a Zen philosophy. I've learned this from Roger Hamilton. And it talks about um, if you have nothing to lose and you have everything to gain. If you had to start today from zero, where would you start? What technology will you use? What platforms will you use? How will you promote your business? How will you market your business? You know, and I think that is the most important for me. Where do you start? Um, you know, just to give an idea, Elon Musk in 2008, only had like $15 to his name because he invested all of his monies into his business and his businesses weren't taking off. Now, you could be in that same situation and it looks like you don't even have a rand in your bank account. But things can change overnight. You know, overnight, and NASA contacted them and said they want to invest into his SpaceX program. And guess what they did? And um, that was like $15 billion. And suddenly overnight, he could grow his business. And out of SpaceX um, came uh, Tesla. And out of Tesla came um, other um, companies as well. So do you think you will take that risk? 
maybe this time is to take risk on your marketing so that you can 10x your business going forward. Um, you know, where do we start? Do we start with getting attention? You know, if you're not out there and people search for you, you don't exist if you're not on social media. So the idea is you need to create followers. And by creating followers is what we talked about, is where you put info out on Google, emailing, um, LinkedIn, YouTube, et cetera, you know, and, and, and then you present that and you share that and you give the results and you deliver advice and then you build trust because you're constantly out there. Um, one of the companies I work with, their receptionist, because he's on social media, um, generated in, in one week uh, free leads for them already on LinkedIn because they were so surprised that the receptionist is, is doing sales and marketing. And, and I think that is where the power lies, is you have your whole team. If you have a company of 10 people, 20 people, imagine those 20 people connecting out with just from their side, 100 people, just 100 people a day. That's 2,000 a day times 20. This is like, like, like uh, 20. That's 42,000 a day times 10. It's 20, 20, 40,000 people a month. If you can only generate a percent of that, now 10% is 4,000, percent is 400, if I'm correct. If How would your business look like? Because now you're suddenly using your whole team. If you're two people, three people, you can generate uh, that same amount. And that's only 30 minutes a day. Now, if you put more effort to it, just imagine how your business can be. And that's why your measurement is so important, so that you get that return of investment. Now, again, you know, I just want to reaffirm this, like we talked in the beginning, is um, if you can't measure it, um, yeah, you can't improve it. And I think that is the most important is measure everything that you do. Look at the results. Analyze everything that you've done. I've given you the tools of how to do it. And I think that is the most important. Um, another thing to look at, um, you know, I'm talking a little bit more today about your business and how to prom uh, promote your business. Do you have a product or do you have a service? Now, product and service goes hand in hand. You know, you still have to give a service to deliver that product. Now, one suggestion I would love to make you is, Start naming your products and combining your products to add more value. You know, and don't just sell something, sell a package. You know, and, and why is that important? Because um, my question to you is how many people do fight on price? How many people are negotiating on price? And the reason for that is that is because they don't see the value in it or they, they, they know they can buy it somewhere else. But if you package it and you put the value of it, now, example here, yeah, the, the, the Bride 5 wedding package, Everything is in fives. Now, one thing that I tell my clients is, if you list it out, you call it the five uh, ex executive package, and you list everything that they get the benefit, you need to put a value next to it. Five hours of time is worth valued at 5,000. 50 still shots are valued at 500. Five videos of 10 minutes is valued at 10,000. Because remember, it's your value of your time that you're giving five whole frames, five. So the worth of this package is, let's say, 25,000 Rand. And out of 25,000, um, you can buy this package today for only 3995, just to give you an example. And the reason for that is you're putting value to it. And at the end of the day, you sell them um, the value of it. And they can't compare it in, uh, to anyone else. We did this with a company called um, that does EMS training, Body 20. And one thing they did is because they're, so ex um, they're quite expensive to train, they started going through a list. You know, how much is your time worth? You only have to do uh, gym 20 minutes a day. You can do this in your lunch time so you don't lose time. It's actually free time that you have at work. Um, the value of uh, having a personal trainer is 3,000 Rand. And they count it all up and it came to almost 50,000 Rand a month that they can save you in money if you train with them and you only pay 2,000 Rand a month in training. And that is what it's about. It's creating value. Now, the next thing that is important for you before you start your uh, social media campaign is who is your ideal prospect? Do you know it is? And the reason for that is, um, like I said in the beginning, is you need to start from your customer's journey. You know, how does your customer come to you? Now, you need to see the world from your prospect's state of mind. You need to understand how do they see the world. Now, you need to look at um, uh, just a, a few points. Is they demographic? Where do they stand? They psychographic, they geographic, and behavioral. Um, and, and the reason for that is that if you target them on social media, you can directly target to them exactly. You know, from you run a Facebook ad that only targets women aged 18 to 32, or you run a Facebook ad targeting wealthy women aged 18 to 32 living in Kloof, Durban, who feel strongly about cruelty to animals and who love going to the gym to look good. So this is important because 
now you get to your real client that you want to. Now, please take a screenshot or download the PowerPoint slide later, but look at your existing customer base, your top 10 customers, um, interview them, do surveys on social media and email, look at your target audience and you, who you want to target, look at the people most likely to buy your product or service. You know, is your market the consumer market, the corporate market or reseller market? Can you give different segment markets, ideal customers, Google Analytics, and remember Facebook pixels that gives you face, uh, insights into your ideal customer. Now, how you can create your own persona is uh, at HubSpot.com make my persona. You can actually create a persona of your client. And the reason for this is you print that in the end of the day. And whenever you're in front of your computer and you market it, you have it in front of you and you look at it and you say, ah, oh, Jim, you call uh, the picture Jim and, or Jane. And as you look at it, whatever message you put out, you're like, okay, how will Jim uh, react to this? How will Jane react to this? And you write a message as if you are writing it to one person and directly to one person. And guess what? People will see it in your messaging that you are targeting um, them. It will feel like, oh, yes, this is this feels like that. he's talking to me. He's talking my language. And, and I think that is what is important. Just give you an advice um, for a training company. I'm a personal trainer and I give nutritional advice or I'm a personal trainer specializing in helping dedicated mothers lose up to five kilograms in 30 days so they can look their best after pregnancy without giving up foods they love. Which one will you choose, ladies? If you're in the group, which one will you choose? The next one, for men, uh, or even for women as well, I'm a personal trainer specializing in bulking up or if you don't want to bulk up or to the lean up or um, to lean down maybe up sportsmen by up to 20 kilograms over two months so that they can be more self-confident and have better self-esteem which one will you choose guys and ladies um, i think that is one thing um important of how you can target to your clients Next one, I want to share with you. This is my favorite part. This is called um, pricing. And important to look at your pricing is that um, how can we price our products? Now, the best scenario is there's a study that has been done that if you give a person free options, you can guide them to the product that you want them to buy. Now, I'll give you in the first scenario, there's three options. Um, the, the, the one at the bottom that you want people to buy actually bought more 84%. But the moment it came down to two scenarios, guess what? People didn't even want to buy the most more expensive one. They bought uh, the, uh, the cheap exp uh, one um, at 68%. So uh, pricing is very important. And I want to share with you today with this because this is where you, you're going to stand out from um, people, this uh, I think this is the the secret. Now, pricing psychology is when you see a price within a millisecond, your brain evaluates that price and decides whether it's high or low based on something called reference pricing. So people, and that's why they negotiate about prices because their reference, their perception of the price is compared to what they've seen in um, by shopping around, and they then will negotiate your price down. Now, reference price is a price is probably will expect to pay for that product or service based on other similar purchases or competitive products or just their intuition, their feeling about how much this product should cost. Now, good news, everyone. You can influence the way your prospects' decisions when they compare your price to a reference price. Now, how many of you would love to know how to influence your people, uh, customers with uh, with your price? Um, if you're in the group, please say yes, I, and uh, we can take it from there. So thank you for those who are doing that. Now, this was developed by um, a psychologist, uh, Stan Dahin, a cognitive neuroscientist whose research centers around numerical cognition. Now, I just want to run down. You ever thought why certain people ask uh, why is there a, a spa and all those places always have like a two ninety nine when we still had one cents and two cents or now two ninety five? And the only reason it is is that it's effective. Um, people um, just by having that one digit, people buy that product more compared to when it's uh, a rand more or a cent more, and it's. Uh, <sighs> It's scary, but this is powerful. That's why you understand. Why do people ask 997 or 997 this or um, 4997? You know, it's like, why the free rand difference? Why not just make it a round number of 500? You can spare me the change. But it's something that works psychology, um, psychology with uh, people on pricing. Now, the next thing is, look at this. Choose fewer symbol, uh, symbols, uh, syllables. Look at that. 
27 and 82 cents, uh, 27 dollars and 82 cents compared to 28 dollars and 16 cents. It sounds smaller, but yet it's more expensive. So when you price your products, look at the syllables because the less syllables there is, the, the, uh, the cheaper it will be perceived because subconsciously your mind perceive it as cheaper. Um, display prices in smaller font, you know, that's why you know, some people are like, where's the price? I need to look for the price. The smaller the font size is, uh, the, the smaller it is perceived to be. The next one, you will see uh, how people are uh, remove the comma, you know, uh, between 1,499 to just 1,499. The next one, offer payment installments. Yes, the price is $499, but only in payments of $99 um, it will be achieved, you know, so people perceive it. They don't see the five payments. It's like, oh, $99, you know, is this really true? And, oh, it's five payments. Oh, you know, I can probably um, um, afford $99 a month, you know. Uh, it will suit my budget. So changing that, you anchor people on a smaller price. The next one is also you can frame people about your price. You know, you can say it's instead of just 49 uh, rand 99 a month, you can say it's 49 cents a day. So people perceive that um, that because it's still 49.99 per month, but because it's 49 cents a day, people can perceive ah, but you know, um, you know, how can I say, you know, 25 rand versus a cup of coffee. People perceive it ah. Um, I can afford a, a, a rand a day. Why not? You know, 10 rand a day. You know, a bread costs 20 rand. So, you know, I just buy one bread less or one Coca-Cola less. The next thing, this is the most important for those who are real estate agents in the group and, and for those who have prices that are quite uh, in the big number. But they did a study where they analyzed 27,000 estate transactions. Buyer perceive uh, more when prices are specific. Use precise number when you're using smaller figures and because of above tactics. Be precise with large numbers. The, the houses that were precise uh, sold more at 362 compared to a house of 350. So it's amazing, you know. And then you ask me, oh, uh, uh, people don't negotiate about price. No, it's just your pricing strategy is wrong and people uh, will negotiate about your price. And this, they found that people don't. So there is the link. Um, uh, I will send. Uh, I will. I can send it to you as well. Um, let me quickly write it down. But uh, that uh, why? Remember, caption is also important. If I'm correct, that is a zero. Um, let's quickly look to zero. Um, small v uh, nine, uh, nine uh, capital E. Uh, capital J and capital N. Please look, uh, I've put the link on, just check if the link does work. Otherwise, that is a capital O um, instead of a zero. Um, will someone just check for me um, if that does open? Um, if not, um, that, uh, that's not an O, everyone. That is then a capital um let me just put it in the group again. Okay, everyone, that is bit, uh, dot ly forward slash to capital O, small v, 9, capital E, capital J, capital N. Let's check that. Okay. Uh, that next, the last link I just sent you does open. So everyone just look at the last link I just sent you. It's a capital O, not a zero. Okay, the next one, price anchoring. It's important to anchor your price that refers to heavily rely on the first price of information offered when making a decision. Now, just to give you an example, is the best way to sell a 4928 jacket is to place it next to a 44,000 rand jacket. So, you put, and that's why you're usually, on the, don't, uh, if you go to the shops, why is this uh, expensive product go, uh, next to a cheaper product? It's because they're giving you, they're playing with your psychology. They, they're influencing your uh, buying decision. Example as well, um, if you had two beers, People still bought the most expensive beer at 80% uh, compared to the smaller light beer. But if you added a different option, um, a, even a cheaper option, the one in the middle sold more. There's just something about that. It's pricing psychology. Is you guide people to the middle one, they think they're going to get more value added compared to the cheaper one, and they don't want to buy the, the more expensive one. But when you give them two options, they then go for the more expensive one. 
Okay, so it's all about you guide people to the price to the product that you want them to buy. You can do price bundling. You've seen this at shops where they put two products together, and if you buy both of them, you pay cheaper. You see that online. You see that in Take a Lot. You see that in uh, everyone using this um, product. I know Clicks does it a lot. Um, they say buy free and get one. Buy free products with the same color code, and you get the third one for free. You know, so they just want to sell more of the same product. Price perception, you know, it's the product or service has in the mind of your ideal prospect, the perceived value. Now, I'll give an example, why would you pay more for a coffee at Starbucks compared to at Spur or another coffee shop? And it's the only reason is that your perceived value is that Starbucks is a well-known name brand and that they sell good coffee because everyone knows the brand and that's why you'll probably go buy it. But have you really bought the Starbucks coffee? It's not the best, but yet you have that perception that it's more expensive um, than another place. And again, you know, they also change the name um, to set the name so that people can't, um, there's no reference to the price. So people think they can only find that product at Starbucks, yet it's the same thing as um, another shop. It's, uh, But yet because they changed the name and they, like I talked about in the beginning of the uh, uh, making it sort of like a package people can't reference it to someone else decoy pricing decoy pricing is also important is place a decoy in the way which is almost certain to make uh, skew up the perspective decision um that's one thing to do that's the first example that i showed you you just bring in a different option you know just to make them uh no i don't i don't want option two i'm rather going to go for option three it looks like the same value as option two or more value than option two is the same price so i'm rather going to go for option three um another thing is also your words that you use now when dvd stores were still open they did a test that one word change can make a difference if people are going to buy more or not instead of like it's only a five dollar fee becomes it's only a small five dollar fee and the price or the sales increase by 20 percent Next one is um, the one where you reframe them with uh, instead of how much a year, that became how much per month. And the next one is selling time over money. You know, they spend a little time and enjoy lemonade that's focused on time, attracted twice the amount of customers willing to pay twice as much compared to focus on money. Now, you ask about people always want to negotiate on price. Now, there's two things that you, if you do this, I can promise you people are not going to negotiate on your price. One, if you save them time, because we all have 24 hours a day. That is why landing pages are so important. That is focus on one product because you are saving them time. They don't have time to go to your about us, to your services, to your contact us. Then one page, it's easy to scroll through, one place to put in the contact details and you're saving them time. Um, people will pay us twice as much if you're gonna save them time on their journey compared to, that's why I coach people. Because it saves them time. You know, people pay me up from 997 to uh, 4,997, you know, my prices to 9997 to 99997. At the end of the day, they do that because I help them to achieve and I save them time so that they don't have to go suffer by doing this. Um, the next one is if you add value. If you do those two things and you add value to your products, like we did that first product, um, Thing where you add your benefit and your prices um, that you uh, value at the to next, um, you create a perceived value and um, you show them that you're giving more, you're adding value, and that's why people will pay more for it in the end of the day. So, are you all learning something new today about pricing and how you can charge more? Is by saving time and adding value. That's the two main things. So my question to you is, do you believe you can now improve the way you price and your pricing structures? Um, if you don't say in the group, no, I don't, I'm happy with my pricing. Or if you do say, thanks, Kovis, you know, this is going to change my business going forward. Just remember, you can do anything you set your mind to, but it takes action, perseverance, and facing your fears. If you say, Kovis, I don't want to place videos on, or I don't want to put my private life on. You don't have to put your private life on Facebook or social media. Uh, most people don't. You don't have to tell them every single meal that you eat and what you're going to do. Give value. Share tips, share advice, and share your passion, your business. Your passion is the most important. So talk about what you love. Be Have perseverance. Face that fear of overcoming your comfort zone of um, I, uh, all of these excuses why you don't want to do it and just take action. My challenge to you is all is to take action. Now, my last thing for you today is because you are here and you are listening to this webinar, I want to give you a few things. One, 
is a special from my social media lady um, called Digital Panda, Kayla uh, Kruger. Um, what she does is she can give you daily content that she can share with you on Facebook and LinkedIn. She charges at the moment 2500 per month. But if you add Instagram and Twitter, she will actually do it for you at 2000 Rand per month. Now, if you think that is too much, she will even give you a, ma a magic package, you know, called the Panda Magic Package that will help you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, the next Twitter should actually be LinkedIn. So just may I will just correct that on the slideshow. LinkedIn at 997 Rand per month. It's only a small investment on your time that will save you time. I think that is the most important. Um, so you can help with content. Um, I think the importance is you also just give content. So you make sure it's scheduled and looked after and increase your um, growth on social media. So uh, I think a small investment of only 997 Rand per month is not uh, too bad. Um, next one is uh, you all can have access to um, CD Digital. They're also running my landing pages, my website, um, my marketing, my ads spent on social media. So they do ads. They do. Um, they make sure that all the pixels are installed and that uh, your uh, website gets updated every three months. It downs with you. Uh, strategy session. So if you send to Greta at uh, cdigital.com a message and say you saw the uh, the email from Quibis, they will give you um, a free consultation on your marketing worth 3,000 Rand because that is the time you send them your links of your social media and website. They will go analyze it. They will schedule a call with you. And by scheduling a call with you, they will just give you feedback on your social media and everything. And they will give you advice on where to improve and what their services is what they can offer. So that's something I would love for you to do to see where you are currently and what you're doing in the market. The next one is where I can assist you if I had to get results in 30 days, 16 days, or 90 days. As you see, I work in a month um, in free zero of three months or six months it's up to you nine months um how fast you want to take uh, success um, most of my clients i worked with now already some of them for three years um my last client that i worked with um, i don't know how many of you watch survivor is nicole capper i was a marketing and business strategist consultant um after she won, um, came second in um, um the survivor so i think um what is it in for me well Three months personalized consulting on your strategy to get you and your business and marketing to the next level. I will assist you to uh, make sure that you implement the right strategies, that you focus on the right um, um, social media platform so that you don't be all over the place and what your strategy should be. And I will challenge you and I'll keep you accountable to go out of your comfort zone. Now, Rian, the, uh, as you can see, the honest IT advisor says, Quibis is very well versed in his area of expertise. Marketing wizardry comes to mind as one of the terms I would use to describe his course. He's energetic and inspires confidence and excitement in his audience. If you expect to learn something more about marketing, Quibis is not the person for you. If you expect your mind to be blown with creative ideas and industry changing inside Quibis, we will see as your answer. Um, Delito Benson Kubis is such an awesome motivational speaker. His knowledge about anything regarding marketing is just amazing. We'll definitely recommend anyone to go to his seminars, and I'm sure he's also great to work with. My company has been with Kubis for nearly six months, and the results have been beyond our wildest expectations. Teamwork has increased, fun is back in the business, accountability is developing, and business is growing as excess of 70% year on year. Um, an immediate likable man who's uh, always available and great sounding board for all those questions at, at all times. I have no hesitation in recommending Quibis if you want uh, to change attitudes in your company, get buy-in and commitment from all staff. And the reason for that is all of your staff are your salespeople. All of them should be on social media. All of them should be branding themselves and, and sending out branding of the company. And all of them should market your business in the end of the day. That is the most important. My fee is uh, you can invest for the next three months in your business or yourself. Uh, my price is 29997 as you can see, it's all 997 But because you are here today, only a small of investment of 2497 per month for three months, I will assist you with a strategy session uh, once a month and a, a few uh, and one uh, um, accountability session in the month to make sure that you apply your strategy that you get the results. Now, this is only if you send me an email and that you are interested. I only have a space for four people on this, um, one per week, um, because at the moment I can only handle 12 clients per month. And at the moment, I already have eight clients that I've been working with on this platform. So if you are interested, only four spots left. 
please think about uh, joining and becoming part of uh, my uh, my team in a sense where I or my mastermind where I challenge you to get the results. So if you're interested, please let me know. And the next thing I want to do is if there's any questions from your side that you would love to answer, um, I can do it at this moment if there's something that you would love to know. Um, also, the other thing is that um, if, if you're also interested, um, be, be tuned in for the next week, two weeks. I will be running recordings and webinars with people in expertise um, to help you to even grow your business more, to give you more value. Um, I see nobody is typing. Um, just one thing, if while you're here today, if you want a list of tools and apps that I was talking about, all the links where to go and what to look at, and a few extra um, specials uh, that I would love to give you that will make your digital life easy, please send to those who give me, uh, I will send it to those who give me a recommendation on LinkedIn and a review on my Facebook page. Now, you all know my link. It's that Sorby one, um, uh, Visser, but I also also be sending you an email out with the slideshow. And uh, if you give me a Facebook uh, review, a five-star review, and uh, <laughs> I would love that, and a recommendation on LinkedIn, I would love to send you free tips and free tools. So hopefully you all are in for that. Um, is that sounds sound does that sound like a fair exchange to everyone if you can do that for me i see jenny is typing and uh, alam is also typing so <clears throat> that is me um today's a little bit shorter i just wanted to give you a value of how to grow your business um you know especially on the psychology everything that i taught you now and uh, this week i've done I do on my one day seminar where I teach people and show them. Usually on that day, I go a little bit more I, I, on my um, website and screen. You know, I have time, a little bit more time for that where I go physically in, into my LinkedIn, into my Facebook back office where I show you all of the things that's done. I, we Google you, we look at your profiles. So that's the only difference that you are missing out. Um, but yeah, I think. Um, Jenny, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We will be with you next week. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, everyone. Uh, there's one more question coming before we close off. I think um, uh, um, Adam, my package includes a, a strategy session with you on a, for three months. So it's a, not an hour. If it takes three hours, that is how much we will spend a day. If it takes the whole day, for me, it's to make sure that your strategy is right. So usually we spend about four hours with the company on a day because that's enough time to run through all of the platforms. We will look at where you are and what you do. Um, and uh, also we look at what CD Digital has uh, recommended for you. Also, the next step is that um, then there's a follow-up every two weeks after that, just to make sure, are you implementing? What is the challenges? So we keep on adjusting the course review or uh, the direction of your company, and we make sure that what you're implementing, that you're starting to get results. We're looking at your ad spend, your ad budget, and we start playing around on, in the back office of uh, Facebook and LinkedIn and all those places and Google so that you start spending a, a, a few rand in the back office so that uh, we play around with how your target market responds and how you can achieve results in the end of the day through that. So that is important for me in the end of the day is for you to get results. Um, for me, that's I don't want to waste your time. And my name is very important for me. As you know, my branding um, is also important. I want to really get people results. As uh, you can go on my um, um, for YouTube, you will see there's testimonials of people that I worked with, companies that I worked with for more than three years and still work with them. Um, my clients is from UK to Hungary to um, New Zealand. Um, and then in South Africa, even Uganda as well. So I work with all around of people. I work with celebs, like you heard, um, um, Nicole Kappa, for example, and with a few sports individuals as well. So in the end of the day, for my question is uh, with you is, are you willing to get out of your comfort zone and take action? If not, I can't help you because if you're not going to take the action, I won't be able to assist you. And guess what? If you then start getting traction and you do everything that I say you need to do, I will give you money back um, by the end of it. If you can prove to me you applied everything, all the strategies, you didn't get any results, then we waste your time. To give you an idea, the, the one of my clients in the first month, she made up uh, um, my consulting fee for three months um, to be able to pay me. So don't have that ex as an excuse. Um, any other questions? 
Okay, I think that is it for today. If there's no more questions um, on, on the system, um, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you that I can share what I love. Thank you that you took the time and effort to join in. Um, all the recordings is on YouTube called uh, Marketing Webinars, uh, my playlist, and it uh, all the PowerPoint slides are on SlideShare for you to go through and rerun through. So please go look at them. You can do the, a download on um, SlideShare of the PowerPoints. So you just press on the download button and it will download it for you. So please share with other friends. Look out for the webinars. Look out for the next webinars that is coming. Um, I'm busy with my online course that goes much more in depth on each platform on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. So it will be ready by the end of the month. So please also look at that where I will share that workshop and course with you. But from now, have a beautiful day. Be blessed. Take action. And remember, consistency is key in this world. Take massive, consistent action. And that is me. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye. Have a beautiful day.